G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a probability question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. Each of 2010 boxes in a line contains a single red marble, and for one less than k less than 2010, the box in the kth position also contains k white marbles. Isabella begins at the first box and successfully draws a single marble at random from each box in order. She stops when she first obtains a red marble. Let Pn be the probability that Isabella stops after drawing exactly n marbles. What is the smallest value of n for which Pn is less than 1 over 2010? All right, this is a long question. There's a lot to take in there. Let's see, what have we got? We've got uh, the 2010 boxes in a row, all right? 2010 boxes, box one, box two, box three, all the way up to 2010 of them. Da, da, da. Uh, let's see, each contains a single red marble. So my single red marble is gonna be solid green dots. That's now a symbol for red. Each contains a single red marble, and the kth box contains K white marbles. So the first box contains one white marble, second box contains two white marbles, three white marbles, four white marbles, and so on. Okay, that's the setup. So what does Isabella do? Isabella begins at, begins at the first box, sure, and successfully draws a single marble at random from each box in order. So she's going to go along, take a box from each, a marble from each box. And she does this when she first draws a red marble. Pn is the probability, so I'm just taking this in still, Pn is the probability that Isabella stops after drawing n marbles at the nth box. All right. So P of 1 is the probability she stops at the first box. That means she draws a marble from the first box. The chance of that happening is a half. P of 2 is the probability that she stops at the second box. That is, how's that going to happen? She has to choose a white one here and then get a red one. So probably choosing a white is a half, times of probably choosing a red is what? A uh, uh, 1 and third. All right, so it's 1 sixth there. P of 3 has to choose white, one half, has to choose white, two thirds, then has to choose red, one out of four. Ah, oh, the twos cancel, that's one over three. In fact, I'm glad I didn't bother simplifying too much. I'm not actually working out these fractions. Uh, P of four had to be choose a white, one half, choose a white, uh, two thirds, choose a white, three fourths, choose a red, one fifth. Yeah, I'm glad I don't simplify things as I go along. It looks like P of n is given by the formula, uh, was it? P of n is, P of 3 is 1 over 3 times 4, P of 4 is 1 over 4 times 5, 1 over n times n plus 1. Okay. Well, this is looking good. So I guess I'm just actually, before I even knew it, I was just, just doing stuff. I was engaging successful flailing. I sort of had a feel for what I could do, and I just started doing it, and look, things have just magically walked in place. Strategy number one, just start, start going for it. I've got a sense of what to do. Um, now, what's the question? Uh, was the smallest value of n for which p of n, this is less than 2010. All right, so now I feel like I can probably just play with the algebra of that inequality and try to get the smallest value of n, which makes that a true statement. That feels doable. In fact, I'm gonna invite you to have a go at it. Find the smallest value of n that makes this inequality work. Let's compare answers. I'll write up in my essay to go over this video. We'll compare our results. All right, have fun with it. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.